So, Megan, can you tell me what your inspiration for this piece was? Um, my inspiration came from my mom. Actually, I wrote a piece before this that was uh, kind of about stages of grief after a person dies. So my mind was kind of on the topic of death and things like that. But um, what really brought me to the piece was that my mom and I, we, our relationship is kind of rough. So we butt heads a lot. And um, I just kind of thought, when, before I wrote the piece, about how I kind of take it for granted. And like, sometimes when we fight, like I just need to know like it's not going to affect like our relationship because we are family and like it kind of made me think I take it for granted and what would happen if one day something would happen to her or me and I wouldn't say anything to her and we would just leave it how it was and I wouldn't be able to like live with myself if that happened so that's kind of where I went with the piece and what kind of inspired me. I slowly be begin to recognize the laughter of a pigtailed two-year-old. My mind fills with the immaculate vision of my mother sweeping me up into her cradled arms. I'm filled with warmth as she lightly kisses my rose-colored cheek. I love you so much, Maggie Moo, she exclaims as her fingers tickle the underside of my tiny chin. I was like thinking about what would happen if one of us was to pass away, like how I'd feel about that, and I kind of took a different turn at the end, so I won't give that up. I hope readers uh, can kind of realize that life is short and you should tell your loved ones I mean, how much you care about them because you never know when something could happen that could change your life. When I was younger, we have, were really close and uh, now we've, our relationship has gotten a lot better, but uh, we've had struggles, but I think everyone does. So. All right, and that's Megan McGann and her piece Unconditional, so go on to wordstruck.net and read the full version. Thank you.